All right, so let's take a little break from the relatively abstract kind of stuff we've been doing and look at something a little practical. So we have someone and they've come across a river and they just want to know how wide it is across, all right? And let's say this person has basic surveying tools like tape measures and uh, devices that they can use to look at landmarks and, and measure angles between different landmarks. And so they're standing here on this side of the river and they're able to use the, the device measuring, uh, the angle measuring device that they have to look across the river and pinpoint a landmark on the other side so that this is exactly uh, a right triangle or, or right angle or 90 degrees here. And they just want to know how, how wide that is across. And so what they do then uh, is walk some distance, let's say 20 feet, over here, and then they take an me angle measurement to the, to the same landmark. And they go, okay, what's this, uh, what's this angle? Let's say that's 40 degrees. And so then they didn't measure this angle, but we should be able to surmise that this is now 50 degrees, right? And so the question they still have at this point is, all right, what is, what is this, this width here? So what we've done at this point is we've really drawn a, a 90 degree triangle, right? We've drawn a right triangle. Here's my 90, 40, 50, and we have the base and we have an unknown width and an unknown radius, right? Um, but like in the last video, we started with a triangle where we just knew the angle and the base. And from that, we we're able to deduce both other sides. So we should be able to here, do that here. Now, um, there's a radius here, R, or hypotenuse, whose value we also do not know. So it's, uh, but if we knew it, that could potentially be helpful to us. And so looking at this, and looking at what we know about uh, triangles, is there a way to connect uh, the stuff we've done in triangles so far to what's happening here. All right, well, we have two, um, given this angle that we know, this 40 degrees, we have, uh, there are two trigonometric functions, right, defined on that 40 degrees. We know the cosine of 40 degrees is equal to the base divided by the hypotenuse. And we know the sine of 40 degrees is equal to the uh, width of the river divided by the hypotenuse, right? And the width of the river is really what we want to know. So if I knew the sine of 40 degrees and I knew the, uh, uh, the hypotenuse of the river, I could, uh, I could compute that width. Now the sine of 40 degrees is actually very, very straightforward to figure out. What we're gonna do here, I'm gonna use Desmos, but you can use whatever graphing calculator you feel like. Um, we just need to make sure that um, we're set to degrees and not radians. And so sine of 40, Let's give it a quick round. Let's say it's 0.4628. Okay. Well, that's, well, that's nice, but, uh, sorry, 6428. All right, um, well, that's nice, but 
we still don't know the radius, right? So I know that the, this divided by that is 0 0.6428, but I still don't know what the that is. But that's where we can um, come back and take a look at our cosine here. We know that cosine 40 degrees is 20 over R. And from that, Um, I should be able to find R because I can just as easily find cosine. So cosine 40 degrees is about 0 0.766. So then, here, do, 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 that's about 0 0.766. Alright, so let's take a look at this, uh, the, the algebra we have going on here. 0 0.766 is equal to 20 over r, that would mean that 0.766 r is equal to 20 and r is 20 over 0.766. All right. And um, you can find this one of two ways. I can take 20 over 0.766. That'll give me an estimate for uh, r. Or I can just cut the, to the chase and just divide it by uh, un, unrounded version of cos, uh, cosine 40. And that'll give me something that's more accurate. So let's just use that. But the other one is pretty close as well. So R is about, R is about, 26.108. All right. So what we have now then over here with the sine computation is 0 0.6428. That's the width of the river divided by R, which we know is 26.108. That means the width of the river is 26.108 times 0.6428. That's our width. And again, this is just a matter of I can either do this in a uh, use the, the rounded values that I already have or I could take the radius which I've already, I know is already this and I can just multiply that by sine right because that's what's happening here either way I'm going to get pretty close values let's call it either way that W is about 16.782 feet. So that will tell the surveyor um, the width of that river. And so this is a way we can use uh, sine and cosine computations to measure the lengths of things we couldn't directly measure otherwise. All right, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.